Nangyari na po ba sa inyo na pakiramdam mo ang ganda-ganda mo pagkatapos meron kang narinig na bulong sa likod mo ay pumangit na siya, no? Nangyari na ba sa inyo na pakiramdam mo ang ganda-ganda mo pero meron kang kaibigang nagsabi sa yung ang taba mo? Feeling mo ang galing-galing mo pagkatapos mayroong nagsabi sa yung mahal mo naman sa buhay na hindi ka na crush. Hindi ka na crush ng bayan. At pumunta ka sa salamin at bigla kang nagulat sa salamin kasi pagtingin mo sa salamin sabi mo sa sarili mo ang pangit ko na nga. The brilliance of the eyes is not there. The rosiness of the cheeks is not there. The beautiful smile is not there. And instead, eye bags, sagging cheeks, double chin. And then, you start to say, Where did my beauty go? Where did my beauty go? Where did my good looks go? But as you look longer into the mirror, you see that it is not only beauty that is lost. It seems innocence has been lost. The childlike sparkle of the eyes is lost. And the innocence that is lost is now replaced with sophistication. You are no longer innocent. You are no longer childlike. But you are now sophisticated. You are not jumping like kindergarten children. But you can give a calculated smile like a PhD holder. You are no longer the playful teenager. But you can give a smile that shows that you are now a millionaire. Innocence has been lost and replaced by sophistication. How did it happen? That innocence is lost, which also means virginity is lost. When I speak of virginity, I do not speak about sex and genitals. When I speak of virginity, I speak about integral look at life. When I speak of virginity, I speak about wholeness. When I speak about virginity, I speak about innocence untouched by compromise and sin. When I speak of virginity, I speak about being whole and not being divided. How do we lose our virginity? In many ways. And it is not always sex that destroys virginity. When we succumb to wealth without working, that is innocence lost. That is virginity lost. When you want to get rich and you don't like to work, and you seem to get richer even if you're not working, that is not innocence. That is not virginity. That is lost virginity. When you want to be happy, when you want to seek pleasure, but pleasure without conscience, that is lost innocence. That is lost virginity. Pleasure without conscience is sophistication. Nakakapangit yan. Science without humanity. When you do research and research and research, and you forget that science should be at the service of humanity, you lose your virginity, you lose your innocence, and then you become cynical, you become frustrated, you become skeptical, you always mistrust, you are always suspicious of others, and you cannot trust anyone anymore. 
knowledge without character. When you want to pursue more and more knowledge, but you forget about virtue. When you grow in high school to college to graduate school, but you forget that what makes you a real person is not the degrees of education, but character. Knowledge without character is lost virginity. Politics without principle, that is compromised innocence. Politics without principle is harmful. Politics without principle is dividing. It disunites. It harms. It kills children. It kills childlikeness. It kills virginity. It kills innocence. Commerce, business without morality. Cheating the clients. Cheating the customers. Commerce without morality is lost virginity. Again, I say it, nakakapangit yan. Nakakastress yan. Nakakawala yan ang saya ng buhay because you just want to get rich without work. And for us in the church, childlike innocence of the first communicants is lost when we worship without sacrifice. Because worship without sacrifice cannot be pleasing to the Lord. Worship and sacrifice must go together. And when children worship and sacrifice together, it is virginity, it is innocence, and it makes us all beautiful. The child is beautiful because of childlike innocence. And virgins are beautiful because of the purity of their hearts. Wealth without work, pleasure without conscience, science without humanity, knowledge without character, politics without principle, commerce without morality, worship without sacrifice. Can you see now how we have been divergenized? Can you see now how we have killed our childlike innocence in the name of progress? And the virgins in the gospel were like that. Why were the five virgins considered wise? Because they were whole. They wanted to wait, but they sacrificed by not sleeping. They wanted to see the bridegroom, but they waited and kept their oil enough. The foolish virgins, they wanted to have pleasure, but they were not responsible. They wanted to have the right, but they were not willing to live the duty. They wanted to see the bridegroom, but they were lazy to stock up oil. Lost virginity. That is why they were not able to enter the banquet, not because they had no oil, but because they wanted wealth without work, pleasure without conscience, they wanted worship without sacrifice. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two things that we need in order to reach heaven. The Lord said, unless you become like little children, you cannot be part of my kingdom. And today the Lord said, the kingdom of God is like ten virgins. What is asked of us? The Lord asks us to return to childlike innocence so that our heart may be like the heart of a child that is innocent. But we are also called to have the heart of a virgin that is whole, totally dedicated to the Lord. It is not about being priests. It is not about being veiled nuns. It is simply about being Christians. At the end of the day, my dear brothers and sisters, at the twilight of our lives, the Lord is going to check on us and ask us, 
Do you have the heart of a child? Do you have the heart of a virgin? Come and enter the kingdom.